this way is out.
trucker feel pretty unsettled to you? Uh, not, not terrible for what it is. I think we need, well, no, not for what it is. On the rear end, does it mm -hmm. feel like? You got seven and a half on your rear, right? Like, feel, it looks like you're kicking on a lot. Like we need to slow your rebound way down. Watching you on that slick rock there and you go off something and boink. Uh-huh. Just boink. Well, I think one of my problems is I think I got way too much air in my rear tire, which is I think why it didn't hook up on that rock that threw me on the ground. I, got way too much air. I don't know. I have broken knee brace, so I don't care. And I still got a piece of it floating around somewhere inside my pants. That's what I was trying to get out, uh -huh. was the broken flipping latch. So it didn't chase me. water. You must be in the freaking desert. What do you mean? We're in the desert at home, too. What's his excuse to have? I just know it's no more than a half hour, 45 back <laughs> there. Here, sometimes it's a little more than that. Well, my ice is gone. <laughs> Might as well drink that. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be a sore motherfucker tonight. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> no. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> no, I'm already getting sore. Well, you act hard on that shoulder. You don't. You you. My shoulder feels all right. No, nah, your shoulder will be. You'll you'll be knowing your shoulder tomorrow. You watch the video and you see it. Oh yeah. I, you'll I, be like, oh. Believe me, I watched the rock come and then I tucked in so I wouldn't break yeah, you my wrist or anything. Right on into it. Went. But yeah. I hit harder when I come when I wrecked down there and I thought yeah. break my upper latch off my brace. Yeah. Yep. Uh, right. Right there. Which all the back problems I've been having today that I've been complaining about is right here. So I just absolutely bull fucked a those same not, set those of muscles. Probably don't have, those probably don't have hip pads in them either, do they? Nope. Yeah, huh? Nope. I used to ride without my hip pads. I don't. I can't wear them. I wear them now. I got extra ones. I, I wish I had them on. <laughs> yeah. I needed them right about then. Well, this is a whole different ride through those whoops. Dennis, so hip pads are just like knee braces. It's something you can't wear until you start, just force yourself to do it. And then <laughs> I you used can to wear, wear them and yeah. I... I liked them, and then all at once I just I couldn't stand them anymore. Yeah. It's like elbow guards. Yeah. I hate elbow guards. I gotta have these. I have to say I like them because today you like them. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure you'd, you'd have been hurting good there. Well, I'm pretty sure I got my elbow anyway. After last year when I wrecked out there, that made me believe in them. Yeah. Oh yeah. If I could just find some that would actually stay put, because Popeye arms Ron has a tough time yep yeah oh well somebody hit me with a bowling ball right in the hip well except for one little crash mm -hmm. Mary's trail is kind of fun uh-huh we get you a little beer not many people have been riding it it's no. starting to go away yeah, yeah. the marks kind of hard to see up there in the rock yeah I think probably a little less air pressure would help I can't believe it. I mean, I, I knew I cut over towards that edge. The back end started out, and I'm like, don't go off that edge. And I <laughs> rolled up on the throttle. But then I look at the marks and go, yeah, I'm sure from where Ron was at, that looked like I was going off the edge because oh, half of were. them marks are off the edge. You, you were heading off the edge, and then you <laughs> whipped it around, and I'm like, oh, get off, get off. And then the bike rears up on like this, and I'm like, oh, oh, no, don't get off because I know what's <laughs> happening next. And he let off the throttle and the bike went down and away he went. And I was like, oh. But it, it went right yeah. straight in that ditch. Yeah. You know, it just, it when like, you let off it, yeah. it went, Whoa. It might have stayed on it. It had gone clear off. The, yeah, you'd have been, the bike would have been done. Yeah. It would have been a buckaroo bonsai ride. Mm -hmm. Well, probably the bike would have probably ended up clear down in the bottom because <laughs> he'd have launched it. He might have tried that full cover. Jay, your camera's all fucked up, too. I can is tell you it? that. Oh, we're riding behind you. I can tell you the angle it's pointing at we're is. Video taking the ground now. <laughs> I don't know. Is it? Probably. And I shut mine off because I didn't bring no way to empty yeah. it. Well, it ain't gonna be too. And I bad. think I got Pat's rack. I hope I got Pat's rack. I'm sure I did. So. I don't think it's gonna be too bad. Go that way. I don't feel like it today. It's about five miles whoops over the rocks. Uh huh. And it's all sand. And that's a 10 mile wash over there. So 10 mile washes are a lot of fun on a big bore with a paddle or something, but otherwise it's two foot deep sand everywhere you go. Well, I don't have no paddle. You got no paddle. I got, got no big board. I got <laughs> I got bald tire. <laughs> he got board, big bore bald tire. <laughs> I mean, we could do it. <laughs> I have to ride that one though sometimes because I keep thinking about getting one of those, but as well. But I think I'm going to end up with another two stroke. I'm impressed with what it does. 
that, that just so used to it. Oh, yeah. yeah, ain't there. <laughs> now, you got to plan on the on the wheelie and over stuff. Yeah. You got to be down a gear or two gears from where you were before. And you do a lot of this, <laughs> yanking on the freaking bar. They were sure a lot softer coming through there. Mm -hmm. They just soaked them up. Yeah, I can tell you, I could have used a little more speed coming through there in a lot of respects. That's but why I'd I know, but I wanted around. to ride behind you and watch that rear tire because mm -hmm. it's trying to yep. I'm get sure a sense to... of. So anyway, Moab Airport is up this road and over there. Uh huh. And the Green River is this way. And that, you get off into there and you're off into you know, one of those ones on the other side of Moab, those trails. Oh. Golden Spike and yeah. those. Gold Bar Rim and all yeah, that crap. Uh -huh. that yep. Yeah, because you come out on 10 Mile Wash area, right? When you're. Yeah. Yeah, you come right at the very head of 10 Mile Wash. Right? Mm -hmm. Well, this road is it. Uh huh. But you come over there by that rock and hit it. Right. Seven Mile Rim's got to be out in there somewhere, too. Yeah. No walking. Dirt bike only, it looks like. Yeehaw. Huh. Yeah, I'd hate to take an ATV across that because you start beach balling down some of those hills. You'd be in trouble in some of them places. Yeah. Huh. It's getting hard enough to see that it'd be a bitch to go back this way taking I've it. gone that way a few times. Going that way, there's a couple of surprises going that way too. Mm -hmm. Some of the drop offs you do, you gotta just. Mm -hmm. hit it. <laughs> We're gonna Glen's Hill on this side too. Sounds like he was uh, famous, huh? Poor Glenn. <laughs> Glenn's tree, as down in the, the bathtubs. Well, yeah, so far, I think, uh, I don't think I did any damage to this thing at all. No, I don't think you hurt the bike. I think you just hurt Pat and his pride more than anything. <laughs> um, thank God for bark buttons. Get, get that handlebar hard. You will be infamous. On YouTube. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Holly ain't gonna ever let me go. <laughs> yeah, but the sad thing is, this one's so good, I can't help but put it on. <laughs> she told me before I left, she goes, you get hurt, you fucking cold. You need to tell her quit jinxing you. I said, well, I said, what does that mean? If I get beat up, I'm supposed to probably drive 15 miles to cell phone service and call you and go, hey, I, I, I'm beat up? Or do I call you if I go to the hospital? <laughs> well, yes, if you go to the hospital, call me. Okay. <laughs> I got cell service where I'm at usually. Do you? Yeah. If not, just up on top of the hill I do. So, we're going to avoid most of the big sand, don't we? Yep. So, I'm feeling a little shoulder weary. Shoulder weary. <laughs>
about a 10 mile the other side of that big knob back there. And you ride up this way and cross. At least here we just have the last of three sections of whoops. Weak. Well, this is where we got on last time, wasn't it? This is where it? we got on last time, yeah. Because I knew the kids weren't going down this road. Well, we came down this mile. road, yeah. Except we came there from the fork of the yeah. road, just from there to here. Yep. Yeah, and then this one goes over and drops on just to a point. You got to just come back that way. How you doing? I'm doing all right if I can keep my name on. Can you build that? Belt. Just did. Put it under the strap. That's going to have to reinvest. Reinvest? I got another one in my gear bag too. Damn, uh, well, this one's part oh, of the Stay there for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, this is the one section you want one. Yeah. From here, just to that rock down there. But it's sand whoops. Uh huh.